let's say this one quality of a wheat at rupees 930 per kg is mixed with another quality at certain rate in the ratio 8 is to 7 if the mixture so formed is worth rupees uh, 1000 rupees per kg then what is the rate per kg of the second quality of wheat so they are saying that they have taken two qualities of wheat so one quality of wheat is in such a way that its cost is 930 rupees per kg okay and the other one they are not saying the price so let's assume that the price of the other one is x x rupees per kg i know they are saying that when we mix these two in the ratio of 8 is to 7 which means if i take eight parts of this let's not write 8x if i take eight parts of this and then seven parts of this and if i mix them both then I am going to get a new quality of wheat and the cost of this wheat turned out to be 1000 rupees per kg right so I already told you that uh, if you assume that this is the final average this is the average of one group this is the average of other group right I already told you that the final average always lies between these two averages isn't it therefore this x is supposed to be greater than 1000 right so how to solve it is just by using the allegations formula you can solve it now in that case you have to assume that this is the higher side which means just assume this one is a1 x is a1 and you can assume that this is a2 and you can assume that this is a right and n is to m so let's say there n1 is to n2 which that is the convention we are using now if you assume that this is n2 and this is n1 now you can understand that n1 is to n2 equal to 7 is to 8 got it so you can directly apply the formula and get it otherwise okay what is the formula is this one so n1 by n2 if you remember it you, you do this otherwise you can apply the normal ligations formula a equal to n1 a1 plus n2 a2 divided by n1 plus a2 right n1 plus n2 so see what is that i am saying capital a equal to n1 a1 plus n2 a2 divided by n1 plus n2 right assume that n1 is 7p and n2 is 8p and you are supposed to calculate the value of a1 right in this if you assume x a2 is already given a is given right so only only thing that you have to find out is a1 this is the way you can find it out or otherwise if you remember the other formula that we have derived from this n1 by n2 the ratio so n1 by n2 is equal to a minus a2 divided by a1 minus a right and n1 is to n2 is 7 is to 8 so now you can equate it to 7 by 8 okay if you want to see you can equate it by 7 7 by 8 and now this one is going to be a minus a2 so what is a 1000 minus a2 is 970 930 right so 1000 minus 930 divided by a1 is what we have to find out so x minus 1000 got it so you can write like this just cross multiply and find out the value of x so if you find out the value of x you are going to get x equal to 1080 rupees per kg which means if this quality is going to be 1080 and if this one is going to be 930 then if you mix them in the ratio of 8 is to 7 the final quantity the final quality of wheat is going to cost at a rate of 1000 rupees per kg right now if you remember the other way the diagram that we have used we are going to write a1 a a2 right so what is a1 here x so assuming that x is the higher average among the two averages right why this is true isn't it if your final average is going to increase then definitely the other average must be higher okay now x and what is the other one 930 and this one is 1000 right and the value associated with x is 7 so this side it is 7 right and this side it is 8 now let's try to find out the difference okay now what is the difference here so this one is higher so x minus 1000 and what is the difference here this one is higher right it is 1000 minus 930 which is 70 
okay therefore 70 is to x minus 1000 equal to 7 is to 8 again if you apply this see 70 by x minus 1000 equal to 7 by 8 right so again if you apply it it is going to be 1080 x minus 1000 equal to 80 which means x equal to 1080 so whichever way you feel comfortable you can solve it either by using the formula you can find out the initial formula or if you remember that ratios formula you can find it out or you can use this diagram and you can find it out okay fine Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join game of visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494554454. Okay, thank you.